Hello there, welcome back to the channel. So why do you need a virtual home button for your iPhone 14 Pro Max, iPhone 14 Pro or your iPhone 14 Plus? Let's find out. Here in today's video, we will talk to you about the need for the virtual home button, how you can turn on the virtual home button on your iPhone, how you can even customize your home button on your iPhone 14 series or any iPhone that you might have. Now, using the assistive touch or the virtual home button makes your user experience much more manageable, especially with the big phone, you can easily get these little things and this feature is quite handy and ready to use for many things such as control center, gesture, device, lock screen, volume up, volume down, mute, screenshot, and many more. First, you need to toggle on the virtual home button from your settings of your iPhone. Well, first of all, you gotta open up your settings on your iPhone here, scroll down there, and now you gotta tap on accessibility, scroll down again, choose touch. Once you come over here on your touch option here, tap on assistive touch, now toggle on these features. After that, you will see the round looking icon. This is so called the virtual home button. If you tap on this home button here, now it will directly put you back to your first screen. Well, once you toggle on this virtual home button on iPhone here, you can actually use it in many different purposes. Now, if you come over here, as you guys can see, it shows you a lot of different options that you guys can literally get in touch just by tapping on your virtual home button from here. Now, the best part about the virtual home button is you actually can customize it even if you want. Now, to customize it, you have to come to the same spot here. Then you need to tap here where it says customize the top level menu. As you guys can see, it actually shows six different things. You can make it up to seven or eight and you can use at least two icons. You can choose different settings from here. You know, choose any setting that you really want to use a daily on your life. So you can literally set it up here and then you'll be able to see things is going to coming up right onto your assistive touch settings. Also, you can reset these settings if you want just by coming over here. And if you tap on reset and things will get back to normal as it was when you set it up for the first time on your iPhone. Even if you want, you can customize the tab or let's say the action button for your uh, virtual home button. Now, if you come over here it says single tap, double tap and long press. You can simply choose any of those things or any of this option from here. After that, now you'll be able to use your virtual home button more conveniently. All right, guys, so this is how you guys can toggle on the virtual home button and this is how you can customize it on your iPhone as well. Hope you find this video useful. If you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Peace out.